Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Today we are still going over the uh, division winners. Today we're going over the AFC South. Uh, we're looking at the NFC as well to look at the previous season. Uh, today we're going to go right into the AFC South. Uh, I did a couple videos already. Uh, they took these division winners, the AFC East and North. Got the Ravens and Bills, you know. I'm going to build this massive parlay ticket. Uh, here's a look at these odds right now. Doesn't look pretty good. No one's plus. Uh, we have a, do we have a favorite in the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, and it's a pretty uh, unique division as well. Let's take a look at the odds. Rookie quarterback, rookie quarterback, rookie quarterback. All these teams are after the rookie quarterback, except for the Jaguars, and that's why I do think the Jaguars will win this division hands down. Take a look at these standings. Uh, these records will change. I don't know how much more so. Um, and I don't know how long ten, uh, Ryan Tannehill has at this, as a tight end. Uh, Malik Willis was drafted the year before, and then they just drafted Will Levis, uh, which is a, part, a little mind-boggling to me. I don't think Will Levis was that, uh, you know, uh, that type of prospect to be drooling over how they were, you know, trying to make it seem like he was going to go number one or number two. Uh, but my man C.D. Stroud is the real uh, number two draft pick in the draft. Um they have a bright future as well. Everything is a rebuild. Um, they got Will Anderson as well on the defense. Um, they trade away Brandon Cooks to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they, I think, they are doing a little quarterback battle with David David Mills and C.J. Stroud, but Stroud will definitely come out the winner. <clears throat> His accuracy is tough. Uh, I thought he was going to be number one draft pick, honestly. Um, but I do want to see how that plays out and as they continue to grow, but I do not think they're going to win the division at all. Um, let's hop back to, back to the Jaguars real quick. They had a great season last year. They had Trayvon Walker, number one draft pick, and they went to the playoffs. They had a pretty great, they actually won their, the division. I think they won the wild card game. <coughs> yeah, they did. They came back and beat the freaking San Diego Chargers that was down 21-0. And they came back and won. And I remember a guy put a million dollars on that game, or 11 million, one of the two to only win like a couple thousand. And he lost it. And, you know, that that's right there. The book's telling me something. But the book's telling me right now the Jacksonville Jaguars are favorite for a reason. I'm going to pick them on here. And we're going to just talk about the other teams. But that's pretty, you know, that's about lock, I'm honestly. They got Calvin really coming back. I'm looking at the, the tapes and everything. That man is flying, boy. And he even say he's coming back with a vengeance for, for everything that he lost. And that's the real gambler's mindset, they said. Right, everything he lost, he, he coming back. He gonna he gonna put the bank on Jaguars winning it. Why? I'm telling you. Just just make sure you do it on someone else's name, like someone else's social security, cause uh, they gonna find you, uh, Calvin. Just make sure you ball out though. We picking you, we picking you for the fantasy. Just know that. Uh, but Trevor Lawrence is really that quarterback right now. Uh, they are light year. He's pretty great. Uh, he was number one previous draft pick. So, um, and I didn't really have faith into him until last year, and until I really started seeing this man really chuck that thing, and he. He, uh, he, he's like that that Cali pretty boy that was in uh, Friday Night Lights. Just you know, he he cares a lot about his hair, but he also cares about winning. So and that's what I like to see. Uh, he actually, you know, they're tough. They 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 their their coach Doug Peterson is uh, pretty great as well. Uh, so don't count them out. They're definitely gonna be in the playoffs this season. Uh, just at what expense will it come to other teams and who will knock them out or who will the Jaguars knock out? Uh, they're on a rain right now. The last time they've been this good, probably the 2000s. Uh, Maurice Jones Drew. Um, forgot the other the other guy that was a D lineman. Um, but Fred Taylor as well. A couple other guys. Mark Brunel. Um, but now is the time uh, for them to you know make some waves, keep going, keep building that stride. They got a great coach, um, and they can never win a champion before my team. I'll be, I'll be pissed. I ain't gonna lie. And let's take a look at these two teams. Titans, man. They're, they're just. I don't know what they're doing. Willis, uh, Levis, Tannehill is going pretty soon. They did sign DeAndre Hawkins, though. That is a pretty great sign that he lost A.J. Brown. So the Titans are kind of still in it. So do not do not think the Titans will not have a, a shot at this. Let's see what the odds are again for the Tennessee Titans. Plus 310. That's not bad. Um, they just have a quarterback carousel right now. I don't think uh, that it's going to be a distraction for the team. Fans are going to want a certain guy. Tannehill is not going to get it going unless Tannehill – Tannehill's lose the first two games, they're going to be out, and we'll see how that even affects them. But if they win, they keep Tannehill in and keep the other two guys on the back end. 
I don't know what's going to happen to Will Levis, Malik Willis as well. Both of them are studs. Uh, we got to see how Will Levis plays out, though. And with the Indianapolis Colts, man, with this stuff that's going on right now with Jonathan Taylor, what is going on? They don't want to win. They don't want to win. They're going to be back around here. But I do, I do, I do believe Anthony Richardson has a shot to win Rookie of the Year. I already saying it, uh, just with his size and what his abilities, ability to do over uh, C. D. Stroud or uh, Bryce Young, any other quarterback, the receivers. Um, I don't know. I just feel like if he really is balling and winning the games and running and throwing the ball, really winning the game by himself, showing him how big of a dude he is, a monster. If he wins these guys five games himself, seven games on a, on his back, he's going to win the rookie of the year and potentially have a playoff run to win the division uh, with no Jonathan Taylor. And he has some receivers, so he just got to put that thing on the money. Uh, as far as other uh, rookies to look out for, Stroud, of course, um, receiver uh, from Seahawks. I forgot his name, the one that went to Ohio State. I, uh, I'm, I'm losing it right now. Um, but those are potential guys, uh, you know, keep looking at them. I'll, I'll make some videos of, of rookies to watch as well. But I do think Jacksonville Jaguars will win this division. <clears throat> Don't sleep on the Titans. Uh, they have a possibility, but I would say slim to none. Jacksonville Jaguars are favorite for a reason. That's why we added them to the ticket. Uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos, guys. We got more in the making. Likes, I mean, podcasts, challenges, pot, uh, videos, highlights, everything. Uh, we catch you guys on the next video. We're going to do the AFC West. Uh, you know who's going to be winning that division. So let's tune in. Stay safe. I'll see you guys next video. Hey.